Welcome back to Shade Tree Hot Rods, where today we are making motor mounts, solid motor mounts, for the 1UZ in our 94 Ranger. It's been fun. It's been great. So we got the trans mount in. Uh, now it's time to make our engine mount. So I got these handy little plates that I cut out and made some holes. The only problem is I am incapable of following a simple pattern. So the holes aren't even lined up the way they're supposed to be. So I had to drill them out extra. So let's just, we're gonna jack the engine up. I got this board laid across the valve covers. As a point of reference for uh, like even keel side to side. So we're gonna get this side. Uh, you know, we're just gonna pick the whole thing up a little bit both these plates on and then we're gonna start taking measurements once we get it even in order to have uh so we know what we got to cut our flat stock for to make our runners so basically plate goes up like this two pieces of flat stock come out welded here welded to the frame somewhere underneath when i find a spot uh and yeah that's it because i shrank the amount of distance between the bolt hole and the block by changing to just a quarter inch plate as opposed to the actual motor mount I need these uh, spacers, basically, in between each bolt. I got three in each one so far because, like I said, I am unable to follow a simple template with an actual mount that's right in front of me. That all I got to do is make the four holes. So it's out of whack. There's one hole on each one I got to widen out. We'll hit it with the carbide bit eventually, but for now, we're just going to go and go to the other side, put three of these on, the three bolts that are there, and then we're going to make sure our engine's level, and then we're going to start taking measurements to start cutting and hopefully welding this thing in that'd be cool so i got the engine mount plates bolted up right now so we're looking at about one degree that's pretty good as is i'm okay with that and then forward to back you got about four degrees right there which is pretty good i'm actually pretty satisfied with that because with our initial with the initial way that we had this thing bolted up uh with that god awful trans mount that we were going to make it was like seven degrees forward to back lean so what i'm going to do now do my best to figure out how much distance where it's going to bolt up or where it's going to weld up to i'm going to do one side at a time because if i try to do too much i'm going to sit here and confuse myself these are the measurements that i've taken down i'm so glad i started recording right there We've only blown the fuse or the breaker, I don't know. Six, seven times. Tonight. <laughs> that doesn't count when I was working on the trans either. Within a 15, 20 minute period. Yeah, so. Word of the wise, make an actual welding circuit. Don't just use your pre-existing 110 circuit. Why would I set up a dedicated welding circuit when I can just do this every time? <laughs> All right guys, so we have spent, we're gonna call it for tonight. We've spent a good little bit of time uh, we've really just been focusing on the passenger side mount. We're going to take care of the uh, driver side mount tomorrow. But this is what we've got so far. So basically, we just kind of followed what a universal mount would do. So we got a solid mount. This is our plate that bolts up, like I showed you earlier, right? And then we got these two runners. Now, this one is just a little three inch number that comes straight here. We're eventually going to put a plate right here for just structural support. This isn't going to be a high torque engine now or for a while, but. It's better safe than sorry. Uh, so this one is actually probably about nine inches long and it just runs down to the frame. So it runs down on this side of the frame where it's a little bit curved. And if you can see it, we kind of just filled this in. Like I said, it's not beautiful. It's not great. But what do you expect from a couple shade tree hot rodists? You know, I mean, we're just, we're out here doing stuff. All right, so we got our passenger side motor mount made. We're gonna start work on the driver's side in order to have it be close to where we want it what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and jack this thing back up throw our bolts in uh to this motor mount to hold it in place hold this out of the engine because that'll give us two points where you know with a trans mount and this engine plate mount it'll be held where it needs to be so then we can more accurately fabricate the driver's side 
So the problem with the driver's side as opposed to the passenger side is there's a lot of stuff in the way and the stuff being the steering column or the steering, you know, the whole steering system. The gearbox is, the steering box is right here in the way and I really can't get down in there. So what I'm going to have to do is get the other side in, tacked up, remove the engine and trans, and then get in the engine bay more than likely and weld everything up. Here at Shade Tree Hot Rods, we're not afraid to admit to our failures. Okay, that is a horrible attempt at uh, tacking up a motor mount, and we're gonna ignore it. You know why? Yo, we're just gonna cut the thing out and uh, try it again. All right, so we got our motor nice and level side to side. We have one piece that we have cut here. I gotta sneeze. Christian's gonna crawl under there. I'm gonna hold this up. We're gonna give it a nice little tack. All right, so we got our plate and our mounts kind of tacked in. It's kind of hard to see right now, but we got them tacked. So what we're gonna do now, see if the engine, see if the engine will support itself with these mounts, even with this side tacked, make sure it's still good and level. I'm gonna lift it up, take the old pan out, all this stuff. That way we can get in there and actually make some good welds on the driver's side and then check the passenger side, make sure it needs any kind of touch-ups, grind it all down, put this baby back in, Duke will be rolling. All right, letting her down. Custom motor mounts, full weight, here we go. Not a problem. I was never worried. <laughs> We have an ever so slight problem. The driver's side motor mount came out because it was just tacked in because we didn't want to weld it in because it was so hard to reach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna freehand this because we still have scorch marks from the weld that we did. And we're gonna just re-tack it so that we can get in there and actually weld everything down this time. Worst case, just wall it out home. Yeah, it's gonna go in now. But we did discover that getting this thing in and out with the trans on it with these motor mounts is nigh impossible so of course port gonna have to be chopped up a little bit not just the course port trans trans tunnel if we're gonna try to take it in and out with the trans all right ladies and gentle cars so the driver's side got knocked off whenever we were pulling the engine out after we tacked it on because apparently we did not tack it well enough so we kind of just free balled welding it back in using the scorch marks that were left by the tack welds and we were like, you know what? It's late. That's close enough. And then I went on a week-long vacation, and now we're back. Uh, but we got it in. So the engine is in Duke. It is, well, I guess there's only one way to really show that. Boom, right? Engine's in. This is not doing anything. However, the final tally is what we read so the transmission is not on it but the oil pan is just so i can check clearance on the frame row which everything looks good front to back we were looking for about four to five degrees we're somewhere in that range right this isn't so accurate say four to five whatever what was really important is the side to side now whenever we measured everything up we were looking for at the most like one degree so what we have is zero degrees hey -o. now you can turn it a certain way and you can get one but if you turn it pretty flat with the engine you're going to get zero degrees because so you turn it this way you're kind of accounting for the front to back lean not a big deal zero right i mean it's within little micro points of a degree but i'm going to take it anyways that has been putting the engine in duke bolted in nothing else holding it in custom shade tree hot rods motor mounts we're making progress our next step i don't know if it's going to be electrical if it's going to be the rear end or if it's going to be fuel or if it's going to be the drive shaft i don't know either way the main proponents of the powertrain are bolted in and we are making moves we have been shade tree hot rods and we'll see you later